Hey, Shucker Patty here. I want to talk to you about the original oyster knife, the first oyster knife that I had made by Swissmar. The reason why we have it at a certain length, three and one eighths inches long, 79 millimeters, and it's got a notch blade. All of my blades come with a little notch, and I'll tell you why. The notch is designed to come around to the bottom side of the oyster, where the adductor is on the inside of the, it, it always scoops up on the shell to where the adductor is and you want to scrape the bottom to loosen the shell. The upward motion of the outer rim tends to get in the way with the steel. So take away the steel and shuck the oyster in one cut and rather than two or three. It's a very competitive style of oyster blade. I'm world champion oyster shucker. It kind of got me in a, in a, in a moment saying the steel's in the wrong place. So I had to get rid of it when I designed it from the first time. So when I work with this oyster knife, the beautiful thing about it is ergonomically thought of as well. The pistol grip shape has got two axis points, A and B. With that, it allows a fulcrum to occur from the tip to the tail that's 135 degrees. When you put it in this angle here, you can torque open an oyster with three fingers of force. It fits in your hand like a pistol grip. You hold on to it and you don't let it go. It just feels very comfortable right there. And you, you do not pry the oyster, you torque it. You turn it like a key in a lock, just like this. So when we go, and I'm gonna demonstrate you in a separate video how to open the oyster, we're gonna use the original, the OG. I like this length because it can hit every oyster from small to large. We can shuck it all, it doesn't matter. Um, the largest ones with the longer distance from the hinge to the adductor muscle, hinge here, adductor muscle there. The long, bigger, longer ones can be two or three inches long three and an eighth inches. This can get to that adductor muscle one cut and then the top pops off and you come underneath and cut the bottom and place it onto your oyster tray. We're gonna show you different techniques, but that there is the original. I love it. I think I can work on it on every type of oyster around the world. And I had three other two other types of oyster knives I'm gonna show you as well, but this is the original. This is the one I like. And I'll use this on every oyster and clams and scallops and razor clams and cheese will <laughs> knock it out of the park with the OG. Thanks, we'll talk to you in a second.